Okay sports fans, here is a sort of bonus tutorial coming off the one about drawing shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create graphics window. So that's what I want. Um, and I want, I can look down the side here and I can see background colour. I don't want to set the background colour. I want to set the width. So dot width. Good. Um, there you go. Actually it doesn't sell, tell me any um, any information there, so I'm going to set it as equals 700. Um, graphics, I know works, graphics window, dot height, good, that worked, equals 700. Uh, let's just do a quick run of the code and see that works, that I haven't destroyed the syntax, good, that did work. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a loop, so a for loop. So for, there we go, here's the syntax over the side for 1 to 10, so I'll just use that. For i equals 1 to 10. Great. And then I'm going to close off that loop, which is end for. There you go. And in between it, so I'm going to say run this while i is 1 to 10, and I'm just going to, if I don't say it's just going to be step 1. And in between, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have graphics, graphics window, Draw. Hmm, it's not draw. What is it? Rectangle? No. Graphics window. Let's have a look and see. No, not background colour. Can resize. Let's have a quick look, see if I can get the the help to help me. No, background colour's not it. I want to draw draw an ellipse. Oh, there you go, that's what I wanted. So I want to draw an ellipse. Um, brackets and I'm setting the coordinates. So let's say I want it to start 10 out and end 100 out. But what I want to do, and this is where my brainwave came in, is I want to mess with that a bit. So I'm going to say that it's not 10 out, or at least it is the first time, so it's 10 times i, and that's 10 times i so that as I gets bigger I'm moving the coordinates so I should be drawing multiple um, circles here and I'll do the same with a hundred actually I'm not going to do I'm not going to do that what am I going to do um, so I'm going to say plus I'll make that plus I because if I keep timesing out those hundreds that's going to get pretty big uh, but let's have a look at it as plus I okay so let's run it and see if it works Oh, there we go. I've got little circles going down and down and down. So, if I wanted to have more of those, instead of having it as um, going to 10, I'll make it go to 25, and I'll run it again. So, as you can see, my loop is creating lots of little circles, and they're moved apart because it's timesing out how much I equals. And I think, I think they're going slightly out of shape because um, I'm plussing at one end and timesing at the other. So let's have a look at step uh, and let's make them step 3 so that it doesn't just count from 1, 2, 3, 4, it counts 1, 3, 6 and so on. So let's give that a look. Oh there you go, actually that's quite strange because it starts out circular and it's getting definitely over like there. So I'm, um, I'm doing, as you can probably work out, I'm working this out as I go. So let's go up to 40 because I'm betting that we're going to get a pretty um, distorted shape at the end. Oh, there we go. So I think we can go higher than 40. I think we can probably go to 50. So I start out with a circle, but because I'm doing different things at the start and end of the coordinates, I'm pushing it out of shape. Oh, well, there you go. I'm actually quite amused by that. So let's see what you can come up with to amuse yourself and perhaps me.